So, hi guys! It's been a while. I um, have a just like short little video plan, but as you can see, I have this projector behind me because I feel like my videos are a little boring because I'm literally sitting on my floor and all of them, so I'm just like, let's see what I can do. But I hope that keeps you entertained. I'll have that channel linked below. But today, we're gonna do my fuck bitch. How to use a phone? Hold on. Fuck. We're gonna do a media of the month. So I have this really big problem with consistency. So I think this is like my way of jacking emergency intercoms swag, and then fucking also having some sort of consistency because the only way. Because my life is not that interesting. But I think we should dive right into it. So I'm going to start with artists. Which I know isn't media. But they make media. So And it's also just not artists. It's like companies too. Which are one and the same. So we have Vocaloid first. I loved Vocaloid back in 2020. I was one of those kids. I loved that shit. I ate it up. That was the only thing I would listen to at one point. I only listened to Vocaloid. Um, it was it was pretty bad actually. It was a very in a crazy thing because I, I can't like things like a normal person. I have to like completely indulge in it and I cannot listen to anything else. Next is Remy Bond. She's so goaded, like it's fucking crazy. And no one like actually like listens to her music. They all know Summer Song, which is a pretty song. But my two favorites are Benzo Queen and End of the World. Those are so fire. Like, and she has an album coming soon. Crazy. <laughs> Next is Claro. I'm pretty sure we've all heard um, Charm, which I just learned is because it's her third album and third time's Charm, because I'm just smart like that. Um, I've loved Claro for so long. I've loved her since like 2019, like when she made that type of music. And honestly, she's one of the few artists that I feel like has evolved with me. Like what she's doing now is like what I like and what she did before is what I liked before. But yeah. Next are the Sundays. And I know that we shouldn't compare them, but like the Cranberries, the Sundays. I'm gonna pick the Sundays. I think the Sundays are so dope. Um, Cocktoo Twins. Cocktail Twins are so good, like, I've always, like, as a little kid, I would make songs, but I wouldn't do lyrics, and I would just do, like, vocalizations, because I'm literally autistic, but, yeah, like, that was what I was into, and that's what they are, and it's so lit. Next is an artist that I really, 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 really like, and a lot of people don't know her, but she's so good. She's literally, like, if you got Lana and Chapel and like combine them and then added like Stevie Nicks and like a bunch of other super cool musical influences but she's Jave so good like she's so good like I, I don't know why people don't listen to her but her songs are so good they're so camp they're so much they're so much fun they're so fun a uh, highlight is Moon Girl um, which is her most popular but I feel like it's popular for like a reason next is Image and Heap I've been on a huge Image and Heap like craze like i love image and heaps so much she's just so good like it's fucking crazy next is foo fighters i love the foo fighters and it's like i have this like weird thing like i like nirvana but i love foo fighters and i love whole so it's like i'm literally the product of like divorced children next is ethel kane she's amazing kikwo kikwo is really good i don't know much about their like real songs. I do know about their Vocaloid songs though. Those are fire. Tommy February. So fucking good. Like, so good. Like, so good. Next is Wonder Girls. I love K pop, but I'm not really that vocal about it because I don't really like where K pop is going. Apart from Wonder Girls, I really only listen to New Jeans, I guess. But they're really interesting because I feel like the other ones kind of doing like their own thing. And Wonder Girls obviously is just like a classic, so yeah. And next is Biba Doobie. She just had Beaches come out, which was so good, so so good, so good. I love Biba Doobie. Um. So next we have songs, which are a little bit more specific, I'm, and I can go more into detail. But see, we finished artists. My phone screen is so dirty. I'm literally an iPad kid. I eat on this phone all the time. Like I literally eat on top of the phone. Like. 
I have my instead of having like my phone like this since I have tick since like I'm always scrolling on TikTok, I have my phone like this and then I'm eating like this and then I'm like literally like, scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. It's disgusting. You know what? I'm gonna stop talking. Songs. End of the world, Remy Bond. <laughs> Love the song. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Like, it honestly sounds like it should have been released back in 2011, but it's like it has that like recession pop, like, like EDM, like, I don't even know what it is, but it just has that. And then it's like the sultry 60s voice. Like, I can't, like, I can't. It's so good. It's so good. Knuckle Velvet Ethel Kane. If I could eat a song, I would vore the fuck out of this song. Nomad by Claro. That's my favorite off of the album. I love Nomad so much. Um, Feudal Devices, Sultan Stevens. That was the summer song. Like I had that song on repeat all of June and all of July. I love it. I love. It, I love it. And then also like since it's August, like this is what I've been listening to. So good. Oh my god. Losing You by Solange. Like okay, so all these songs, most of these songs, like are like TikTok. Like the second half is like TikTok, but it's like bro, like let me have this like, please. Um Losing You by Solange. Solange is so good. I love Solange. Um My Hero by Yeah, okay. So I saw somewhere like rewatched it somewhere by Sofia Coppola recently and I actually like I think that's my first Sofia Coppola movie. Um Let Me Love You Like a Woman, Lana Del Rey. I think Chemtrails is her most underrated album I think Kind Shows is so amazing and this song is legendary. Um Bliss Young Lean featuring FKA Twigs like the way I, I live in Miami right I could have seen Young Lean live but I'm so panicked about music festivals like I've never been to one and it's like I don't know what to do. Like I, they're scary to me like and I never go I need to go with friends. Um next is Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. Bro this song makes me sob sob so hard like i had never like hysterically crying like to the point where if anyone would be watching me sob to this song they would have given me a lobotomy if it was 1952 like they would have given me a lobotomy because it's actually like hysterical how much i cried to this song and i don't cry to that many songs movies um luca guaranino's whole filmography i I don't know why, but I gravitate to his work so much, and I think it's because the since most of his movies that are my favorite are book adaptations, they just like I don't know, like they're so well calculated. Um, next is Somewhere, which I just talked about. I've been obsessed with that movie again. I think it's mostly just because Somewhere is more of such like an end of summer movie. Like there's sort of just like so much space and so much like waiting that it's like I connect to that especially during August long legs I saw long legs it was actually so good it was actually like incredible like I had never I, I don't get scared of scary movies that much but this movie was more unsettling and eerie and I will always always prefer that and like the plot was so good and I love the main actress I saw the TV glow again made me sob. I saw it in a movie theater with maybe three other people apart from my friends and it was like insane like it was like honestly the only best way that I can explain is that you just you have to watch it. You have to watch it. Next is Gregor Rocky's Teenage Apocalypse trilogy. These movies are so unbelievably cringe, but they're just so good. Like I don't know what it is. Like the dialogue is so cringe. Like the burping and like and the farting jokes is just like but it's like, I make those jokes, and what am I to do? But they're really good. Um, Gregor Rocky's great. Um, Mysterious Skin is an amazing, phenomenal film. But I feel like it's really heavy, and these are less heavy. A lot more fun to watch. And then next, we have shows. So I have Dairy Girls, which is so amazing. Like, my friend put me on, so good, like, it's so short, it is so short, but it's so good, and if you haven't watched it, you need to watch it, because it's like, 
perfect. Like, there's literally no nothing I would change about it apart from making it longer. Like, if it was a Friends type sitcom where it just like went on forever, I would watch it over and over again. My next show is We Are Who We Are by uh, Luca Guadagnino. Again, that show means so much to me. I watched it literally in the span of three days, and it was all I would watch. And I think it's so good. And like again, no notes. It's so phenomenal. The next piece of art that I have is Milf Manor. Um, I don't even know what this show is. It is so weird. It's actually disgusting, but it's like I can't. I couldn't stop watching it. I can't wait to watch season two. But I'm taking a break because that does like horrible things for my brain. Um, next is Smiling Friends. I do not like adult animation, especially American adult animation. If I were to watch adult animation, I would definitely watch anime. But Smiling Friends is very funny, and I don't like that it takes itself completely serious. I'm still on season one. I haven't gone to season two just yet. But overall, lots of fun. And next is Crash Box. This show I used to watch all the time as a kid, and I completely forgot about it. But it came up on my YouTube, and I rewatched it, and it was actually so insane. It's an educational show, but, like, who really cares? Like, it's like claymation and i love claymation i grew up on it and it's so fucking good so good i love it 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 like crash box so good so good y'all need to watch that shit and if you don't and if you didn't watch it as a kid what the hell it should be on hbo but i mean any like i used to love that show it honestly shaped who i was as a kid i was such a weird kid um but that's it guys Pretty short video, not that long, but I love you. Thank you so much. The comments on my last video were so nice. They were so nice. Um, I want to keep on making videos, but I like that this is a way for me to actually have something to make over and over again. Um, so expect them every month. Now that school's starting, I'm going to try and post every Friday. And I have a car now, so I can take you guys places. And soon, I want to get, like a proper vlog camera, maybe a mic, it's gonna be lit, y'all need to stay, like, y'all need to stay, please, 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 but thank you so much, I love you. Oh.